Okay, so here's an example of using bivariate data in deciding relationships. So here we have a cool example. It says a study was conducted to see if the number of minutes of screen time is a good predictor of the popular rank of Star Wars characters. Here is the data from a recent study that ranked the 14 most popular characters. You can see them here. Now identify an explanatory and response variable. Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to see if the number of minutes of screen time is a good predictor okay of the popularity rank okay so what we're saying is if we had the number of minutes on the screen then that would lead to popularity so essentially this is our explanatory variable and the rank would be our all right um basically a predictor of this so this would be our y our output all right our response variable okay that's our response so identify the explanatory with well, explanatory as i said before is the number of minutes on sc uh, of screen time okay and the response variable is well since this screen time is predicting all right predicting the rank and so their response would be the rank of popularity all right rank of popularity popularity okay and so that's the outcome all right of our explanatory so this is an outcome and this is our what we use to predict okay so with that we're gonna make a scatter plot to display the relationship between screen time and the rank of the Star Wars characters so here we go all right and we have this right here um, we can draw our two different things we only go right there we can go um, 1 to 14 so we'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and this is the screen time, and the lowest we'll say is going to be, uh, let's say, 30 minutes. We'll go this uh, 60 minutes. We'll go another one is going to be 90 minutes, and then we'll just keep on going by 30 minutes. All right, so we go 120. All right, 150. Um, 180. And 210. And we have. 240, and we'll have uh, 270, and how high we go, I'm almost at the 400, oh wow, it's going to be big, all right, we go 300, 330, or 20 and do we need to go any farther i think that we're pretty good right there okay so now we're just going to put in our data and we're going to just make a scatter plot of this data so just going right here um 150 is going to have a rank of one so if we have 150 it's going to be a rank of one okay um next one is we're going to have uh 6260 all right 261 and we'll have this right here is going to be a rank of two. All right. 282. 282 is going to be right there, a rank of three. All right. Um, 200 and, uh, 163. 163. Okay. We're going to have a rank of four. Okay. Um, 316. And you can kind of go here and just keep on going up. Five. All right. Um, 294. Okay. And we're going to have about rank of six. And 410. It's going to rank of seven. A little higher than that. All right. Eight is 260. All right. Let me go right there. Higher right there. Um, 134 is going to have a rank of 9. Um, 359 is going to have a rank of 10. 100 is going to have a rank of uh, 11. 210, 12. And then 
right there. And then 59 is going to have 14. All right. And these will be right up there. Okay, so you can see all these different things. So as our time goes up, does our rank go up? Um, I don't really see that there is much of a correlation here. So if we had described the relationship shown in the scatter plot, um, we'd see the relationship between screen time. All right. Um, number of screen time in minutes, right? Time in minutes. I can't read this very well. All right. And this is our rank between screen time and rank of popularity appears to be to be, oh, what does this see? As our ranks go up, um, appears to be maybe a positive, negative. Well, it seems like the shorter the minutes right here, um, the higher the rank would be. All right, the longer the minutes, the lower the rank would be. So like if you have a rank of one, all right. Um, so I guess the, um, a, a negative appears to be a negative. All right, negative. Um, unusual features, a lot of unusual, unusual features a little bit, but appears to be a negative. Um, weak, linear relationship. Okay, and I don't even know if there would be one. So, um, and that's what I would say right there. So that is our um, direction. This is our strength. This are there, and we would say um, maybe we don't have any major features. Okay. Well, there we have it. That's how we can use scatter plots, and that's how we can describe them using Duff. All right. We'll uh, check you out, and hopefully this helps you on completing your homework.